And Danny, my friend, <laughs> uh, Connecticut is going to be a good place for you. It's a whole new season, my friend. It is such an extravagant blessing of God. God says all the things that you saw back in South Carolina and all the things you saw in other places in ministry that never did come to fruition. He said, they're all going to come to you in Connecticut. He said, rightly have I placed you, my son. Rightly have I fitted you. Rightly are you in the timing of the Lord. And God says this. He said, I want you to begin to pray again like you used to pray. The, the things you used to pray for. The things that you said, well, I guess it's not the Father's time or, or maybe I'm out of, you know, uh, out of order with the Lord or whatever, but he's saying, now's the time. In fact, I will tell you within not too long, uh, the, you're going to have buildings and you're going to have multi-level buildings and multi-purpose building. And not only that, God says that it's going to like be paid for. It's not going to be, this this deal, this time out of the gate, God says it's not going to be, you know, how are we going to make this happen? It's like, it's like people bringing an offering to Moses. Like they, you finally have to say, that's enough. we got enough. And I'm telling you, your Karen's going to rise up with the word. She's going to begin to move. She's going to tap into your prophetic side and begin to move prophetically in the times of ministry. And uh, you're coming back. I was picking this up today at lunch. You're going to come back into worship. You're going to come back into a place of worship for a time. You're going to set back in motion. And it's not so much about how you play or what you say. It's the heart in which you do it. It's going to capture the attention and the affection of the people. Because out of your heart flows a love for God that cannot be contained. And out of your heart flows an utterance of, of, of admiration and love for God most high. That is what the people want to hear. And then that will come into their style. But that's what they're going to catch. The devotion that you've walked in all your life, the steadfastness, even when it's not been convenient to be steadfast. Even when there were times when you had your last breath, but then here come the breath of God. God says those times he's not forgotten. And all those times are the sacrifice that you have given that now God says not it's going to be repaid in heaven, but this side of heaven. And God says, the souls are going to come. God says, I've given you Maine. He says, I've given you New Hampshire. He says, I've given you as far as you want to go north. And even south. But actually, north is going to be your first major increase. You're going to become known as an apostle of the east. It's your day. It's your day. It's awesome. Bless you.